Subscribe G8. Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. RIP, Ned, General Hospital Horror. No swimming pool laps, please. Ned slipped on a towel and fell into the Metro Court Pool while he was on his way to tell Drew that Nina was the one who had informed the SEC about him and Carly. When we last saw Olivia's partner, he was being taken to the hospital that gives the show its name while unconscious. Grave Issues Wally Kurth would continue to be a daytime MVP, even if he left the serial opera, because he currently plays Justin on Days of Our Lives. But the quarter mains, who have already lost so many of their loved ones, would suffer a terrible loss if Ned were to pass away. Jason, repeatedly, Alan, Emily, Edward and Leela, etc. A sad end or a delectable turn of events? Furthermore, it makes no sense that General Hospital wouldn't want to portray the consequences of Ned's knowledge that Nina committed the crime for which he is being held responsible. So Opera 101 ends there. The fact that Nina didn't dial 911 after Ned's accident. Instead, she merely stood there, only serves to complicate matters further. Not the best appearance for a character who wants everyone to believe she is not intentionally bad. Songs and Misses Additionally, when General Hospital eventually brings back his ex-wife and Brooklyn's mother Lois, Ned will need to be on the canvas. On Bold and Beautiful, as Rena Sofer bid farewell to her role as Quinn, she acknowledged that, yes, I've spoken to General Hospital in the past about stepping back into Lois Nails. It would take a perfect storm for me to step back into that position. But if it happened, my future trip would be filled with excitement. Ned Quartermain's condition at the General Hospital will improve in Nina Reeves' time. General Hospital teases that Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watros, will keep treading water in the coming days. The good news is that Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, and Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, insider trading was finally revealed to Ned Quartermain, Wally Kurth, by her. Is that terrible news? He was about to spill the beans when he slipped, banged his head, and nearly drowned. Prayers and thoughts for Ned Quartermain. GH spoilers. According to General Hospital teasers for the week of June 12th, there will be some shocking news for the Quartermain family. Due to his accident, there is a significant likelihood that Ned will need to be removed from Port Charles and placed in a facility. While Nana is not a monster and does not want to see Ned in this state, she will be happy to learn that since he is asleep, he cannot divulge what he knows, giving her more time. Spoils for G.A. Will Darley still think it's Ned now that Ned can't protect himself? Unfortunately, when the SEC issue became out, many family members, I'm looking at you, Drew, leveled some serious accusations against Ned. Even the most casual viewer could see that Mr. Quartermain would never tell the police about Darley, given the state of Willow Corinto's, Catlin McMullen, despite the horrific things he has done in the past. Ned will most certainly stay in this condition for a few weeks, if not months, thus this still permits Nina to carry on with her act. She doesn't seem to mind that Ned is taking responsibility for her SEC misstep. But will his situation compel her to be honest or inspire her to devise a scheme to at least prove that he wasn't responsible for everything? Nina doesn't have to be concerned about the truth becoming public anytime soon because of Ned's illness. Will she take action, though? Sorry, Nana, but it seems like your goose might be cooked in the General Hospital Preview. The General Hospital Preview for the week of June 12 to 16 suggests that Nina's world might be turned upside down. But as far as Ned is concerned, everything depends on what happens next. The scoop is below, along with a teaser video. Although the discovery that Curtis was Trina's biological father shocked her family, it also allowed for greater communication. Trina is once again welcomed into the family by Curtis, Marshall, Stella, and Trina at a small family surrounds him ceremony. at General Hospital following his sad slip and fall incident at the Metro Court Pool. In another instance, 
Nana confides in Ava that Ned learned the truth about how she had turned Carly and drew over to the SEC. She is aware that as soon as Ned stirs, he will reveal everything. Maybe that's why Nina takes off her wedding band and sets it down on the table. And because Ned regains consciousness this week, this sleepy plot won't go on for too long. Maybe he'll start giving the truth to everyone, Sunny speculates. Or perhaps not. Anyone who trips and strikes their head while attempting to expose a significant secret is likely to awaken with amnesia, according to SOAP 101 regulations. Will the laws be followed this time? When Carrie and Drew finally cross paths, a curious Carly asks Drew, Did you find something? Drew did indeed. Tracy blamed Drew for Ned's tragedy and said he attacked her son in an effort to cover up the truth that Brooklyn is her plant at deception. As Ned news is delayed, Olivia is anxious and praises for her husband. This week's sneak peek teases General Hospital surprises and updates, showing Olivia Quartermain, Lisa Lo Cicero, praying as Ned Quartermain, Wally Kurth. News is delayed, while T.J. Ashford, Taj Bellow, examines Ned's wounds and health. She and Brooke Lynn Quartermain, Amanda Seton, wait outside the intensive care unit door. Spoils for General Hospital, the unconscious Ned Quartermain was brought in. Ned was taken in unconscious after falling into the metro court pool while tripping over towels and banging his head on the concrete wall as he went down. Ned ran after approaching Nana Reeves, Cynthia Watros, whom he had heard was the whistleblower, while Drew Kane was having a talk with Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott. When Ned was first removed from the pool, he wasn't breathing and didn't have a pulse, so Drew dove into the water to save him. Until the GH rescue team arrived and the paramedics took over, Drew maintained CPR on Ned. Now, Olivia is crying and praying in the waiting area as TJ examines him in the ICU. She is holding a rosary. Spoils for GH Olivia Quartermain persists in weeping and praying. Olivia keeps chanting a rosary that Roman Catholics say when they are in dire straits, like Ned and his family are when they don't know if he will live or die. Olivia is obviously in a lot of pain, so Brooke Lynn approaches and inquires as to Olivia's well-being. Olivia recalls all the grandmas and great-aunts in Bensonhurst pulling out their rosaries in times of need when she was a young child growing up there, telling Brooke Lynn about it. She vowed she would never turn into a stuffy old lady, but as she looked down at the rosary beads in her hands, she began to age. Olivia says she has realized how frightening life can be and is now grateful for her rosaries, prayers, and faith because it calms her. Brooke Lynn laughs about Olivia being old as she continues. Spoils for General Hospital, the faith crisis of Olivia Quartermain. She responds that she has been praying all night, but doesn't feel as though God is listening when Brooke Lynn wonders why she stopped. Brooke Lynn tries to bolster her confidence. If God listens to anyone, she claims it's her. Olivia becomes angry and wonders why there has been no update on her father. She then turns to God and prays for a sign. When Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, sees them, she says Drew told her what had happened, and she wants to be there for Olivia and her family. She comes over with coffee or tea and sorrow. Brooke Lynn praises Carly and calls her an angel, stating that this is fantastic. Carly offers to leave if Olivia doesn't want her there. Has Brooke Lynn and Carly watch? TJ suddenly appears from the ICU and informs Olivia that they have some news regarding her husband. Olivia takes a big breath. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.